this episode, it's organized chaos as the team preps the holiday issue of FQ. Fashion shoot, beauty shoot, two interviews in New York, top model arena on the cover, stars in town, and a club to build. We'll need to divide and conquer to meet all the deadlines. Look at me. It's an incredibly busy time at FQ. The holiday issue is on deck. We decided to go with the theme of future for holiday. Based on what we saw in Paris, and uh, you know, just a general feeling that it was, it was the right time to explore some of these things. This holiday issue is a, a perfect time, too, to be thinking about the future, because it comes in at December, year's end. Everyone wants to be pumped and optimistic about what lies ahead. So that's sort of where we start. And then we, we frame the issue, the editorial around that. I'll be flying to New York for two interviews. The first, an exclusive with Tom Ford for the launch of his new fragrance, Black Orchid. Plus, I'll drop in on an old friend, Patricia Field, legendary fashion icon and former stylist for Sex in the City. She'll give me an exclusive look at her must-see Manhattan home. Hey, look at my wife, and if things aren't busy enough, the Toronto International Film Festival is on, and the city is buzzing with the arrival of countless stars. So every year we try to do something special for, for the brand for FQ, and this year we thought we'd do it for the movie Infamous with Sigourney Weaver and Sandra Bullock. So we partnered with Sony and uh, thought we'd throw a little pre-premiere dinner party. So it was um, the perfect thing for the brand at the right time. We wanted something that was private and exclusive and away from the maddening crowd. And so, Michael decides to hold the dinner party at Atelier, his yet-to-be-completed private club. The challenge is that we had only made the decision to open the place four months beforehand, so um, but we had a great team. I was confident, well, I was confident most of the time. For the cover for this issue, I mean, we were really up against the wall because we'd done Beyonce for fall and it was, we were all wandering around thinking, how are we going to talk? Um, such an amazing cover. And Jeannie had gone to Paris for the shows and she called me um, from there and said that she had actually just met with Irina and said that she wanted to uh, be on our cover. I mean, she is not an easy person to get these days. She is the hottest model on the planet right now. Yeah, Irina's super hot. So it's a, it's a huge coup for us. Ginny has a relationship with her, so that certainly helped. I've certainly been supporting her on fashion television since the very early days of her career, and she really fit the bill. I, I just think she's got a great look. We only had Irina for like half a day. It's not dissimilar to what we had with Beyonce. You know, you're talking with about people that don't have a lot of time. We're already going to New York on the 12th, um, so it'd be great if it could be that week because we could just extend our stay. You're setting up a shoot with a girl of that stature and you're, you know, trying to book time with her when she's so incredibly booked. Every day is taken by somebody. It happened really fast. This was in the course of three days this whole thing was put together because we were too close to our deadline. Thanks. Ciao. The devil's in the details, much like the opening of Atelier, so it's all the prep work that goes in advance. The clothes just didn't really happen for a variety of reasons. I mean, there's a lot of running around. We thought we were gonna get something from Chanel and then we couldn't get it at the last minute. So we sort of thought, okay, we better have a game plan in place. So um, Haley jumped on a plane to New York and just started pulling as much as she could from there. In New York, it's so easy. You just go from showroom to showroom to showroom and you pull pieces for the cover. And I pulled probably like 20 pieces that we had to choose from. That's nice. We've got six people all doing very different things today that are very important and um, it's physically impossible to, to be in all those places at the same time. It's stressful, but we have a great team as well. In Toronto, the beauty shoot is underway, supervised by Abel. 
with the beauty shoot about who's the deputy art director came up with uh, the idea of basing it loosely on ice and metals. Well, The Three Queens is uh, it's a beautiful shoot. It's kind of loosely based on Ice Queens, or you could argue Lion Witch of the Wardrobe, and it's metallics, so it's, it's, it's completely appropriate for the season. Metallics are really happening, and uh, we thought that was a great way of dealing with it, just getting one girl but giving her three different looks. Uh, we're doing a white, a silver, and gold. I love when it's totally when it goes totally blowing out. Glowy. Glowy and white. I think that is, they're going to be pretty happy with that. Cover stories.